Welcome back to Culture Clash Reactions. My name is Fen. My name is Akasha. Hope everyone is doing bloody fantastic. Today on the channel, Ricka Gervais is back. Yeah. And we wanted to, we saw it on Netflix and I suggested... I keep we, saying, I'm like, when we go to sit down for dinner, I'm like, babe, can we watch it please? And you're like, no. I was like, no, channel. let's save it for the channel. Um, even though, obviously, like you know, they're probably gonna like block it for you know copyright reasons or whatever. But there's one video that I found that it's a compilation of what because obviously, once again, people like him, like David Chappelle, there's been outrage after outrage. Seven people wrote, wrote an email about what about his jokes oh. about the oh my god, they're so terrible. They're obviously not gonna be terrible. We've now learned doing this channel, they're just you know funny. Also, um, I feel like if they put it on Netflix, it's not going to be that <laughs> terrible. Correct. Like, That's it's one thing say. if someone does it in their set in, like, the Comedy Cellar or something. Right. But if it's a Netflix special, it's not right. going to be so bad. That Agreed. People um, are just sensitive. Yeah, no, not even that. I don't even think it's that. Uh, I got a theory, actually, which I'll, after the after the video. Uh, okay. But anyway, the point is, it's a compilation of the most offensive jokes from the from uh, his new special, okay. Armageddon. Right. Shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Of course, the word queer has changed. Again, traditionally, the word queer used to mean uh, someone who was attracted to the same sex as themselves, you know, a gay man. Right? Now, the word queer can mean a straight man who wants some attention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all queer, I'm all queer now. I, uh, yeah, I'm, ri I'm, I'm, I'm right queer now. I am. I, uh, yeah. What about your girlfriend? Yeah, she's queer and all. We're just, <laughs> we're just two queers, queering each other out. <laughs> Suck a cock. Nah! <laughs> no, didn't think so. I'm not that sort of queer. Oh, what sort of a queer are you? Dyed my hair blue. <laughs> so did my grandmother and she fucking loved cock, so... <laughs> what, <laughs> what are we saying? <laughs> No evidence for that. <laughs> we, we never had that conversation. <laughs> well, I am woke now, and I can prove it. Here you go. I love illegal immigrants. Yeah! <laughs> Sue me now. I, sometimes I go down to Dover for the day, right? And I, I look out, right? I look, look for a boat, and I see a dinghy with about 60 of them, and I go over here, like, right? <laughs> And I pull them in, I pull them into shore, and I go, women and children first. They go, there are no women and children. Just you lads, is it? Just come on, lads. Come on, lads. If I go down there one day and there's no boat, I am absolutely fucking gutted. I don't know. <laughs> I just sort of wander into town and I stand by the traffic lights and I wait for a big lorry to pull up, right? And I look underneath and there's a lad sort of clutching <laughs> like that. And I go, where are you headed? And he goes, Gary Lineker's house. I go, it's just down there. <laughs> I guess you Who didn't get that? that joke. Who is that? Uh, Gary Lineker is uh, an ex-football legend who uh, is now a presenter of like the biggest football show in the history. It's just a, a, a match of the day is the biggest football show of all football shows ever. Yeah. Um, he's the host. And you know how sometimes celebrities who are uh, well off and, um, and you know, uh, privileged and live in mansions or whatever, try and like be like, you know, I'm going to make a comment on Twitter to show that I'm just like the people. Yeah. And uh, it tried to be like extra woke by saying like, I can't remember what it was. I can't remember which immigrants. There was, it was an issue. It was a immigration issue. And uh, he stepped forward and was like, I don't know what he said exactly, but basically very pro, like, we should open the country. I can't, I really, I know people are going to yell at me. You should really know what you're talking about me. But that that because I'm just I know there's some wanker right now we're getting ready to fucking type. But um, yeah, he said something along the lines okay. of like you know we're a country of blah 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 and we're yeah it's all right for you living in it you know that's not, and that's coming from by the way somebody who's half Arab before anybody likes to you know what I mean so anyway yeah. that's just to give you context, the joke yeah, context he said where are you going I'm going to Gary Lineker's house because you know Gary Lineker be like get the fuck off my lawn right right right. <laughs> Words change is my point, like the word handicapped, right? Again, traditionally, that was the politically correct term, the all-inclusive term for cripples and shit, right? <laughs> uh, but then they went, no, we want to be disabled. They didn't want to be disabled, they said, they said, they said, they said, 
we want to be referred to as disabled. We don't like the term handicapped anymore. Stop using it. Say disabled. And we went, okay, fine. And that's great. Just tell me the rules. And I'll... In fact, I'm a stickler for the rules. Like, if I was on a beach and a woman came running up and went, help, help, my handicapped toddler's drowning. I'd go, sorry, you're what, love? What? <laughs> My handicapped toddler's drowning and he can't swim. Whoa. Do you mean your disabled toddler is drowning? She goes, yeah. I go, right. Well, let's... Oh, dead. <laughs> Wasted too much time being woke, didn't I? <laughs> We're just one species of narcissistic ape. And some people on social media get annoyed when I say we're apes, you know, religious types, Americans. Um, <laughs> one bloke said to me, speak for yourself, dude. I ain't no ape. And I sent back, well, you are, because we're all apes. He went, nah, what's a gorilla ever done? We've walked on the moon. I sent back, what do you mean, we? You've done fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> You've spelt moon wrong. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it, when people take credit for the sort of rest of the species? Because that's what's pushed civilization forward, you know, a few geniuses along the way. Like, there's eight billion people on this planet. Most of us do nothing. We eat shit and die. Like, <laughs> If there was a meteor heading towards Earth to definitely destroy it, four billion people would get down on their knees and pray to their particular <laughs> god, and a few hundred scientists would work out how to get Bruce Willis up there to stop it. <laughs> a child born today can expect to live to about 100. And scientists said soon that'll be 120. And science also said that in the near future, there's no reason with proper care and attention that human beings won't regularly live to 150 years old. Which is amazing, until you remember that we get a set number of brain cells, right? Which we only lose, you can't get them back. So, in the future, there's going to be 15 billion people on the planet, you know? Half of them are going to be over 100, and they're all going to have Alzheimer's. It's going to be like Dawn of the Dead. It's going to be fucking horrible. Yeah. My auntie died of Alzheimer's. Um, I don't know how you die of Alzheimer's. She forgot to live. Right? <laughs> I've been looking into infant mortality rates recently. Um, for research, not, it's not a fucking fetish. But <laughs> a child born today in the UK has a percentage chance of survival of 99.8%, which is incredible. I thought, is that just the mollycoddled West? And I was putting in third world countries. And even in Africa, it's like 96.5%. In the wilds of Africa, where everything wants to fucking eat a newborn baby, babies are vulnerable enough, aren't they? In Africa, a baby can be born in a mud hut, there's a lion outside, it's covered in blood because they can't wash it, they've got no water. Oh, and it's already got AIDS. <laughs> now, by the time that joke goes on Netflix, It'll be nuanced. There'll be an underlying satirical point, our claim. But <laughs> until then, all I've got is, ha, ah, baby's got AIDS. <laughs> I know that it's funny. I just have to work out why. <laughs> you can't always find an actor with the same disability as the person they're portraying. They're fucking actors. What if they did a biopic of Helen Keller, the deaf, dumb and blind girl? Well, what's the chances of finding a deaf, dumb and blind actress who can play that role? And if you did, you go run into the director and go, we found a deaf, dumb and blind girl. What did she say? I... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even answer the fucking phone. <laughs> He knows oh, he's don't doing get me it. started. Oh. He knows he's doing it. Oh. Cultural appropriation. Have you heard of that? Cultural appropriation. The latest no-no. Now, again, in my day, it was considered a good thing to swap ideas with other cultures, with other nations, to share things with other races, to assimilate. It was the opposite of racist. Now it's racist. Gwen Stefani got in trouble in her last video because she had her blonde hair in dreadlocks. People go, no, black people invented dreadlocks. You can't have them. You're white. That's racist. Jamie Oliver got in trouble when he put out authentic jerk chicken recipe. People go, no, black people invented that. You can't have it. You're white. That's racist. Now, black people, they use the N-word, don't they? We invented that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face.
<laughs> He's such a fucker. You can get sued in this country for saying someone's gay if they're not, you know, you're, which is a homophobic law because you can't be sued the other way around. You can't be sued for saying someone's not gay if they are, which seems unfair. Is that what's still brewing? Are you all right? Should we go back? I didn't hear the premise of it. Do you know what? It's it's his face as well. It's his face. We, we invented that. Like it's like a spoiled child. So it's funny. Like, fucking hell, right? Oh, okay. And not, you know, you. Which is a homophobic law because you can't be sued the other way around. You can't be sued for saying someone's not gay if they are, which seems unfair, <laughs> doesn't it? Like I could go up to Britain's biggest gay and go, "All right, Alton, all right." And, <laughs> He'd love that. He'd fucking love yeah. that. If that's your game, you want to be top of the pile, so to speak. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go, all right, Alton. He'd go, yeah. I'd go, ha, 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 ha. You're not a gay. <laughs> He'd go, I bloody am. I, he'd go, I'm going to sue you. I'd go, you can't. You can't. He'd go, but know that I am gay. I go, I don't believe you are. He'd go, well, come on with me and see the shit I do if you don't believe me. <laughs> I promised you more about China, and this is uh, an amazing statistic, OK? This is true. Look it up, right? In China, there are 10 million Chinese paedophiles. 10 million oh, Chinese paedophiles in China, and there's not enough kids. Because they've been restricting the birth. There's all these poor pedos and they're going, where's all the fucking kids? Like, you know, <laughs> fuck me, we're having, we're having to die. <laughs> there's, all these, there's all these poor pedos. He said poor pedos. <laughs> Where are all the fucking kids? <laughs> Dude, that's uh, fucked. Oh, uh, God, that's so good, mate. Oh Woo! Poor pedos, and they're going, where's all the fucking kids? Like, you know, <laughs> fuck me, we're having, we're having to double up here, and... Uh, <laughs> I just thought of a joke then, I can't do it. It is actually too offensive. <laughs> OK, OK, all right. All right, I'll do it. But, but remember, remember, you can't choose your own thoughts, OK? <laughs> and I just had this thought, okay. right? <laughs> China, okay, Chinese paedophile, Chinese paedophile, goes up to a little Chinese kid, and he goes, do you want a puppy? And the kid goes, I'm not hungry. <laughs> they're going to be the first generation that future generations are jealous of, right? Because we had it all, and we're using it all up. We're using up all the fresh water. We're using up all the fossil fuel, right? Usually you look back in history and you feel sorry for it. You go, oh, how did they live like that? Oh, how did they get around? No indoor toilets. I've got nine toilets in my house. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes I just run around flushing them for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> just so that in 40 years time, Greta Thunberg has to shit out of a window. <laughs> I've got 28 radiators. I always have them on full. Then I put the air con on full and it sort of settles at about 20 degrees. A lovely... It's how the cat likes it. She loves it at 20 degrees. And I, I spoil my cat. Um, I love cats. I love having a cat. Think about, uh, cats are great, but if you let them out, they bring home the most disgusting things. Last week, mine brought home a scouser with herpes. <laughs> you know what a scouser is now, don't you? Yeah. Somebody from Liverpool. Someone from Liverpool. Yeah, there you go. Just checking. All right, the one and only legendary Ricky Gervais. Looked like he was back at his best. Um, we should probably watch the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, but you, we seem to enjoy the bits that we saw there. Do you enjoy that? Yeah, I did. Where's all the fucking kids? <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> How did, what did we think, baby? We enjoy that. What yeah, do you it was think good. of Ricky? Funny. Yeah. I love Ricky. Yeah. yeah. Any jokes in particular that stood the out? The pedo one got me. <laughs> I don't know why that one tickled me so much. Oh, dear. Uh, I was going to say about the whole, like, because I saw once again, before I even saw the special, it was um, it was a story, uh, just something on your, in whatever the fuck, when you're scrolling or whatever. Outrage over Ricky Gervais's new. Do you know what I'm starting to think with this whole outrage? Hmm. 
that me, there's really an outrage or there's not? Call me a conspiracy theorist. I was about to say, we might actually think this. I may be the studio's light net because, like, it was like... It was like when Dave Chappelle's came out. I can't remember which one. What was it called? Um, the the one that he did like three or four years ago, and everyone's like, "Oh my god!" The whole trans thing. I outrage. can't remember what it was called, but it, yeah, it drove it, the the views on Netflix went through the motherfucking roof because people just wanted to see, to well, see what, what was it was. It and it was like, yeah, it was. But no one sat there going, "Oh my god, that was really horrific." I'm starting to think that these companies are the ones who are putting out that like, oh my god, the stuff he said was like, it's possible because yeah. anyone who has, he, he's anyone that has any kind of sense of humor, any kind of brain, just a brain yeah. or whatever, knows that not only is it jokes, first of right. all, but also, I mean, it's really just like silliness. Like yeah. we're just playing with words and I'm just saying words. Nothing's actually happening. Yeah. You know, I'm not when I talk about a baby with AIDS, I'm not exactly. actually. Wanting, and obviously I don't, I don't condone, agree. I think think it's absolutely disgusting. Pedophilia uh, is the worst. Obviously, maybe the worst it's thing probably on the planet. The worst crime. One of the right. worst crimes you can do to a little like right. a child. Sure. But the way he says it, and in and the it's context, not it's in funny. The context, that doesn't man, mean I'm not... saying. You know what I mean? It's just not. And and people who think that it is, or or I just I well, know. because then it would. Let's say he was making a joke, right, about pedophilia being awesome. Like he, if it was a, a joke, like obviously it's a joke. You're mm-hmm. in on the joke. It would right. still be funny, right? Right. Right. If somebody just got on stage and was just talking about how amazing it is, of course he'd be in handcuffs or of he'd course. be like beaten to death. Right. Or but that's not like, what it's, he's saying. It's just I don't know, man. This whole like I actually think that I personally maybe call me naive or call me optimistic, but I think that whole cancel culture thing is actually maybe on its way out, if not. Done. I think it is because, because there was a big chunk of time. In the last, uh, what, what, like a few years, yeah. like five years, that that cancel culture was the thing. Right. Like that was the thing. People were getting canceled all the time. Sure. But then I think people just started to get too smart and they're just like, cancel culture is stupid. Well, because also comedy got shit for a bit as well because yeah. so many comedians were so worried about like kind of toeing the yeah. line that it took the veterans to come mm-hmm. out like Dave Chappelle's, Chris Rock's, yeah. even people that, you know, hating on Louis C.K. like Bill Burr, they had to come out and show, hey, 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 this is how it's done. Don't yeah. worry about it. But obviously they were famous enough and they were already established enough mm-hmm. that they could do that. I yeah. understand that. If you're a comedian that's kind of on the rise and you're trying to get parts and you're trying to get sitcoms and you're trying to, you're saying yeah. outrageous you shit, to, yeah. you got to play the game, you know, the Hollywood game. But yeah. um, but at the same time, I think we're on the, the, if I'm making sense, we're on the other end of the hill now where it's just like, actually you might probably do better if you, um, kind of went against the system mm-hmm. or whatever you might actually do better yeah uh, you get more headlines that's for sure mm-hmm. so yeah that was my two cents but brilliant uh we'll probably watch the whole thing um again i said it's ricky it back at his best but I, I don't know if he ever really he's never really lost it or whatever his, his comedy yeah, is always at the same just, standard yeah I've, I've never watched anything he he's so consistent i feel sure. I've never watched anything. I'm like, mm, that's not really, that wasn't, right. like, wasn't as funny. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe he just hasn't done as much, but sure. he's still consistent. Right. Well, especially with his stand up. Um, yeah. We had this discussion one time uh, on another video that we did that like some like, you know, the veteran comedians don't like Ricky Gervais because they were saying that he didn't really do the rounds in the comedy clubs and blah, blah, blah. And this, that, and the other, like he just wrote the office and kind of got famous. And yes, I Which know a lot of people said that that's not true. A well, lot of people, no, said a lot that. of people said he's been around for a long time. Yes, I know he'd been in a band and then he had a TV show. Then he, he had a bunch of like shitty little shows, but, but I'm saying do, that he so, never did like the rounds in the comedy club underground comedy club, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's he never did I'm, any of that. No, he didn't do any of that. People were tell, trying to tell me in the comments last time. They're like, actually he's been around forever. Yeah. I know he's been around forever, but he didn't do, he's just a funny guy that yeah. was actually, actually showed hey this is not that hard hey if you if you're funny you can well do even it. more than just being funny he's very talented like sure. he's a great great writer story he's actually teller. very intelligent yeah. you know what yeah. i mean so knowledgeable he's super well-rounded it's By not way, just that he's do you think it's real about that thing you said about people living to 150 in about 50 years time but that's possible like that i wouldn't want to live that long but i would but only if you are as he said like you lose like your brain if you cells, turn into like back. a vegetable at 110 that's and you live thing. for 40 years what's the point yeah. You know what I mean? Just shit in your but pants that's, the rest that's, of your life. I just can't imagine, especially, I don't know. Like, I know that, that things are going very, even 
with social media and just the way that the world is, health and well-being is more at the forefront sure. and people are eating better and people are, you know, making more better conscious, choices. Yeah. yeah. But even so, I just don't feel like... A hundred is max. In that amount of time. Like, it's yeah. one thing, like, he's still talking about in the 2000s. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Okay, maybe in 40,000, whatever, 40,024... I could imagine people living and actually staying healthy that entire time, but I just can't imagine in the next, however, <laughs> in the next however many years that people's lifestyles and science and medicine is going to get that much better. That at a hundred and five years old, you're how you would a normal person now would, would be, be at, at sixty. 50, yeah, like there's just no way. Yeah, I don't see. I don't know how. They and would I think do that's that. the point he was making. He's like, yeah. okay, yeah. Well, what's the point of all these <laughs> of the tripling the population? But yeah. there's no. Yeah, they're all vegetables. Interesting. I'll have to look into it. Maybe it was just for a joke. Maybe we we're looking into it too much. Maybe it was no, literally it probably, just. No, a, it probably is. I mean, it, I feel like maybe. a lot of his jokes are based on facts. Maybe, maybe that was like the joke about the eating dogs. I did also <laughs> hear the other day. I read something that by 2027, I think it's Korea, by law is it'll be illegal. Yeah, but they're giving people that's three. About time. They're giving people three years because that's a lot of people's livelihoods is like restaurants, oh, really? things like that. Yeah, so they're giving three years to like figure, figure something, something else out. out so that the co economy doesn't collapse completely. But by 2027, it's, it'll be against a lot of eat dogs. Interesting. Finally, because I love dogs. We just we got, got a, a puppy. <laughs> Honest to God, nightmare, absolute nightmare. I've never had a puppy he before. He surprised me. Nobody. Shh. He surprised me with it for Christmas. Surprised me with it, what and now he's the one complaining. I'm not complaining. I just can't believe that people have dogs. I can't believe that dogs are a thing. I can't believe it's it. not about dogs. We're not getting into a whole thing. But yeah, basically, we got a puppy. He's amazing. His name's Fred. Love him. He hates him, but it doesn't matter. He's, he's a really, lab. He's, he's a little a black dog. lab. Anyway, any last thoughts, sweetheart? No. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. It is always a pleasure. Never a chore. Leave your comments, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, of course, as always. Let us know what you thought, what we said. I'd be interested in people's thoughts. Uh, until next time, see you all later.